Welcome to all of you to another Keyshot quick tip. Without, as you can see, we have a uh, today we have a just a fast last lesson on how to fix this issue with the glass material when it's looking like this and it's really problem because even after the rendering that same problem that looks actually like a bad geometry is there but it's not the problem with bad geometry it's just problem with geometry so let's see what's actually causing this problem so the problem is practically clo uh, caused because this outside surface of the cream and the inside surface of this glass model are actually uh, sharing the same ge geometry same spot so they are practically hitting each other and light in key shots is not able to go uh, and shine well when it's hitting two surfaces at the same time at the same position so to avoid that you can take this inside model for example and scale it down just a touch so that it's not visible with the eye but the key shots will feel the difference and as you can see the whole uh, model is not really changed you can't really see a difference but there is no problem at all except sorry except here so the thing is why it's still still here and only here it's because when you scale this uh, cream model it's the scaling is going from the middle so when you scale it down just a touch this this surface here is going down and it's again hitting the inside of this glass so the thing is with this particular model to get the scale back back to one and scale it only on the y axis so let's see now no no i'm sorry <laughs> To scale it on both axes that are horizontal not vertical so set and X so when you scale the model on these two axes axis except on the vertical and this is vertical uh, the model then doesn't go down and you don't have a problem with surface hitting each other so this this scaling can be applied to all of the glass models where you have this problem you can either scale down the inside model or scale up the outside model and that was that was all folks for today see ya